For 62 years, there has been a tradition at the Alberni Valley Totem Tournament. You know about it. It's happening this year on January 5th, 6th, and 7th. The senior boys and girls are warming up behind us right here. We're going to check in with the coaches so you know what you should be paying attention to this year. We're trying out a brand new system, which is high octane. It's a lot of shots. Typically in high school basketball, you see about 50 to 60 shots a game. Our target is 100 shots per game and 50 of them being threes. Holy cow, that's going to make an exciting game. Yeah, we're already about 10 points above our average from last year as far as points per game. Uh, and we're just learning the system. We're only a couple games into the season. Uh, it's really coming along now. Basketball, historically in Port Alberni, has always been a great thing. And it's seeing a resurgence as of late uh, with what we're doing, with what the senior girls and the junior girls and boys are doing. Uh, it's really come on. And then you have Totem, which is a whole other animal on its own. Whole other animal, a lot of pressure? Uh, a little bit of pressure. Uh, the boys certainly look forward to it every year. This will be my second time, uh, my second go around with the tournament. Uh, and it was a blast the first time. Sort of warm up, all right? And put on a show, all right? It's going to be something different for sure in terms of the boys' style. It is a different uh, system than probably what people are accustomed to. But if they can dial it in, then it's going to be really exciting. It's a f very fast game for sure. Um, the senior girls have had a lot of success lately. So we got our fingers crossed for both teams to come out strong and, and hopefully we'll see something in the finals. This year's team, uh, we've got a bunch of senior leaders, a couple of returning senior players new to the team this year, and a whole bunch of grade 11s. Um, we're, we're a really deep team this year. All the girls make some pretty important contributions. Uh, it's 12 girls on the team. Um, sometimes you only will go six or seven deep, but all 12 girls have proven already this year that they can, uh, they can do some good stuff for us. How unusual is that? That's really unusual. It's not every year you get a team that has uh, as many talented players as we do this year. Okay, you're telling me you've got a senior girls' dream team here. I don't want to say that, but yeah, they're a great group of kids. Excellent. Yeah. And how much extra pressure is there on this team and on you preparing for Totem? That, that's a tough question to answer. I know the girls put a lot of pressure on themselves. I've been around the block a couple of times and I want to have some success, but I don't put as much pressure on the girls as they do on themselves. We always have uh, sold out crowds every single night. The community and the school too has really gotten behind us. And of course, for 62 years, this tournament has been going strong. For 52 years, there's been another part of Totem. Totem spirit, for sure. Totem so. Spirit. We got five candidates again this year, and uh, they're off and running in terms of getting the school pumped and ready for the tournament. I think most of them are here tonight trying to represent their group and vie for some positioning in, in that tournament. Okay, so everybody who went to this school obviously knows about Totem Spirit, but for newcomers to the community out there, what is Totem Spirit all about? What Totem Spirit does is it allows other facets of the school to be involved in this basketball tournament. So we've got representatives from the wrestling team. Uh, we've got an ABC News crew here. Uh, of course, dance and cheer, they're always involved. Um, senior girls soccer this year. And so they draw in their counterparts, their friends, their colleagues, and it gets way more people involved with this tournament that we call Totem. And how is the winner chosen? That's a good question. People seem to think that it's by vote. It's certainly not by vote. It's a selection of many, many teachers and strict criteria, looking at lots of different things over the course of about a month. Wow. So over a course of a month, these nominees, these candidates have to be involved. They have to be demonstrating totem spirit, school spirit, community spirit. And we call it you know, positive citizenship here at the school. So they're all good kids. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, but it's going to be a great tournament, Mike. Thank you so much for telling us about it. We're going to be here um, for the feature games on January 6th. Yeah. You're going to get a chance to watch that on Shaw. That'd be great. And it's kind of a big deal, right? It's a great big deal, yes. Hope to see you there.